Good afternoon. I want to get some shorts that grown women want to wear. Not no booty shorts with my butt hanging out. I made it downtown to see the Festival of India, which is pretty cool. You can see it great going on behind me. I am finally up and moving and I went to go check my mail because I was told I should have a package there today but nothing well the mail lady was just there so I don't know if she hasn't put the mail in or what so I check after I come back from Sam's and then I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-a and yeah that's the start of my day which is really 140 which is kind of bad but I was tired I was so tired today and it was nice to uh sleep in a little bit but then I did wake up at like four o'clock in the morning so it is what it is you gotta keep going I'm right? getting lunch at Chick-fil-a because that's what I really want I really wanted some Chick-fil-a for lunch I know yesterday I was like I don't want any chick art no, that wasn't yesterday it was two days ago I'm like I don't want any Chick-fil-a but today I'm like I just get some Chick-fil-a go grocery shopping and then come home and just get stuff done for the day Mind you, I'm leaving really late. It's almost one. It's almost two o'clock now. But I go into the Chick Fil A parking lot, and it is packed. There's no place to park. I'm like, really? And it's next to this bank, so you can't park at the bank. So now I'm gonna go try to find another Chick Fil A, which is on my way to the grocery store, which I should have done in the first place. But I'm hungry. I am so hungry. Ugh. I'm hungry and I'm tired but I am going to the Indian festival this evening and I hope I can find parking or figure it out that's like my biggest that's my biggest fear about going downtown is not be able to find the parking or end up having to pay like $30 for parking some outrageous number that's my goal for today I am going to <sighs> grocery shop Uh, well, first get some lunch because I'm starving. I am starving. Chick fil A, here I come. Waffle fries and lemonade. Don't tell my mama because I should not be eating that stuff. But I am hungry and I don't have any food prepared at home. And I'm too hungry to make it right now. I could not find the Chick fil A, so I ended up going to Panda Express and having my dinner there. Our my lunch, excuse me. So I go in Vitamin World trying to get my vitamins. Well, I have to start taking vitamin D because I'm very low in the vitamin D area. So the doctor says start taking up some vitamin D. So I go in the vitamin shop and no help at all. None, none, none at all. I am so disappointed. I asked, I'm like, I'm um, looking for vitamin D. And she goes, it's, it's, over, it's over there. You see A, D, C, or whatever it was. No flipping help at all. I mean, I, I, I just don't, I don't get it. I am so disappointed. Um, this is the one on Westheimer. In the plaza with the Target and Sam's and everything else. I, I, no, no help. No help at all. And I, I can't stand, stand stuff like that. I'm, tick, I'm ticked off. <laughs> ticked Made off. it to Sam's. I've cooled down a little bit. Um, Sam's is bumping today. It is packed. Okay, so I must still look hungry because this lady was so nice. She was like, oh, we have cheese and crackers and some and some meat. So she's like, do you like dill? I'm like, oh yeah, I love dill. So then she gives me this right here. Look at that big old piece of cheese. I'm gonna eat it though. There's like no shorts and when they, okay, so the shorts, the shorts that they do have are like three inches inseam. I'm a grown woman. I don't wanna wear booty shorts. Um, so I found some with five inch that are actually on my size that I think I'm gonna get. Uh, oops. Well, 
they're a little big in the waist but they fit a place else i just have to put a belt on but yeah i like them they fit my butt yeah they do twenty dollars i can't complain to have some shorts that fit that aren't so tight that you can see every vein in my body like my daddy likes to say but yeah Hmm. I've accomplished. Yeah. But come on, Target. Come on. Let's get some shorts that grown women want to wear. Not no booty shorts with my butt hanging out. You know, I want to be somewhat sophisticated. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they're, they're decent. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with them. done and on my way home to possibly shower and then get ready to head downtown for the Indian festival which starts at 6 and it's almost 4 and I still have to put my groceries away yay I'm checking my mailbox let's see what do we have y'all it is hot out here it is so hot and humid Okay, I have nothing that's meant for me. No mail for me. I check back on Monday. Fingers crossed. I'm on my way to uh, the Indian Festival right now. I am going away. I've never been before in Houston, but that doesn't say a lot because I haven't gone a lot of places in Houston, uh, different ways. So I'm pretty excited. It's uh, 5.30, it starts at 6, and it's still really hot outside. <laughs> but I guess that's part of living in Houston. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy what I'm gonna see and what I'm gonna try. Well, you won't be able to enjoy that because you can't taste it, but yeah, looking forward to it. Woo -woo. And this festival that we're celebrating today is one of the largest festivals in India. One million people go out there to witness the chariot procession and that's what we're doing here today. There are three chariots out there pulled by hand, no machines. And it is said, it is said, it is believed that anybody that pulls the chariot, if you just yank on the chariot and pull your force and that force is inside of you, that force is going to clear all your, just going to renew your spirit. That's believed and I believe it. India, which is pretty cool. You can see it. 
three going on behind me. It's pretty awesome. I'm back! Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Indian art correction is the Festival of India was amazing. I am so glad that I went. Mind you, okay, so I was driving and I'm using OnStar and I mean the traffic was super heavy down there in uh, downtown Houston. And I'm like, what is going on? Are all these people here for the Indian Festival? Art correction, India Festival. And they're wearing jerseys, and they were, have a flag, like this blue flag with the star. I want to say it was like, I don't, I don't know what country it was, to be honest. But I'm like, all these people are here for the, the Festival of India? Wow, this is a really big thing. But there's another sports event going on. I think it was soccer. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but that is something I was not going to go see. So after a couple of laps, five or six laps around uh, downtown Houston trying to figure out where the park was. I found it and I parked and I was actually very pleased. Um, I was very pleased that I was able to find parking because it's downtown and that's one of my that's one of my fears is getting downtown and not being able to park someplace. I paid for parking $12 and it was super close and I walked down to where the festival was and they also have like this uh this park has like a little river through it and you can run a paddle boat or, or correction a canoe and go canoeing I'm like wow and then there's like a splash pad for the kids to play on and then the part where I was at it was like on on the grass it was a hill that kind of rose up so you could see the stage this festival is well put together I was very pleased and I learned so much and it makes it makes me want to learn more about India and and maybe even go there the dancing was beautiful everybody was nice and they even had a parade um, with a chair I think they call it a chariot and if you pull the rope and help pull the chariot you end up getting um, blessings from God and you know, prosperity. I think I'm getting everything right. And so I, I followed along. I couldn't find a place to grab the rope because everybody was holding on to it. But I did follow along and I got some pictures, some videos of it. It, it was a really good time and I'm so happy that I went and got out of the apartment, went downtown, didn't have any issues parking. Yeah, so overall, I rate this day a 10. A 10 out of a 10. It, it, was, it was good. I'm looking forward to next Saturday when I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next Saturday. Maybe see a museum or see what else is going on around town. I mean, even get to Galveston. I, I'm not sure. It's, it's a week away, so I have plenty of time to decide. Um... That's it. I hope you enjoy the videos that I took, the pictures I took. Um, it, it was really, really a great time down there, and I'm very, very happy that I went. So, if you like it, if you like my video, hit the button that says like, and then leave a comment. And uh, also subscribe. Have a great night. I know I'm going to sleep like a baby because I am exhausted. So, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys tomorrow.
when you see my lovely Sunday. Take care. Bye.